I think poverty and inequality matter hugely for all Western societies because while we struggle with this increasing inequality and this increasing level of poverty, we face huge costs in the future. We know that we need the skills of all of our population in order for our countries to thrive. We face a cost, we risk a waste, and we face real difficulties while we're carrying so many people who are living in poverty. There is, in all the OECD countries, a growing gap between the very richest and the very poorest. It is most marked in the United States. The United Kingdom is getting much, much more. Um, the, the gap between the rich and the poor is getting much greater. And even in Australia, where traditionally you've had a more equal society, you are now exhibiting bigger gaps. Now, this matters because most of the evidence suggests that the bigger the inequality, the less mobility is possible. And social mobility is important if people are able to feel that they can have a stake in a community, can change their lives and can make a major contribution. Compared to other comparable countries, you are, are more equal, although getting less so. And the engines of mobility, which for you have always been enterprise, education and work, are all ones that are in some danger at the moment. Well, government alone can never solve poverty. But without government taking an interest, making it a focus for action, we will never collectively win the fight against poverty. There is no silver bullet. Civil society has an incredibly important role in drawing public attention to the disgrace that is poverty and inequality, in highlighting the incidence of poverty and inequality, but perhaps most importantly, enabling people who are living in poverty to speak for themselves, to articulate their own desires, and to make sure that proven solutions are tested, evaluated, understood, and most important, implemented.